All right, so solving this problem, we want to do part A, so graph each quadratic function, so graph this quadratic function, so that's graphed already, um, and then determine the vertex. If you're not, gra well, you can see everything's already labeled there, the vertex and everything, but if you're not, if you don't have a graph, so negative B over 2A. So that'd be negative 4 over um, 6, which is negative 2 thirds, which is seen here with the vertex. I just circled it there, so right there. And if you plug that in, you end up getting negative 7 over 3 out. So vertex is going to be equal to negative 2 thirds and then negative 7 over 3. All right, so then the axis of symmetry is just going to be um, x is equal to um, negative 2 thirds. All right, so y intercepts solve for it, and what you end up getting out is approximately negative 1.55 comma 0 and 0 0.22 comma 0. You can use the quadratic function for that and then the x-intercept um, or excuse this is the x-intercept and then uh, the y-intercept you just plug in 0 for x and then you end up getting 0 negative 1 so it's 0 negative 1. Okay um, part B determine uh, the domain and the range of the function. So the domain is going to be negative infinity to infinity, infinity, because you can see there's no bounds or uh, anything that could prevent you from using any pretty much any number in this equation. There is a limit. This is the domain. Um, there's a limit on the range though. The range is going to be actually. It's going to include it. It's going to be from negative seven thirds all the way up to infinity. That's it. All right, C, um, it's decreasing from negative infinity to negative two thirds, and then the function is increasing from two, uh, negative two thirds to infinity. That's it.